Subscribe to MDR. Like for more. Yellow. This is MDR. Since about everybody in this whole world, every soul in this entire world has decided to react to Jawan's official Hindi preview, which is not a teaser and not a trailer, uh, something completely different, I thought I'd also chip in, but in a different way, you know, because I'm MDR, so I do everything differently. <laughs> and I thought it'd be a pretty cool and original idea if I analyzed each frame of the preview. I think this is something great that I can do for any new film that comes out that I'm interested in. Most of them would be of SRK to be honest anyways. Let's begin this. Why waste time, right? So, the first frame of the trailer, of the preview, shows us a drone shot. You know, the typical drone shot that we see in just about every film. The latest recent example being Salar with Prabhas. I mean, I think that also starts with a drone footage shot of a big town or a village or a settlement of some kind or something. I don't know. This looks like a pretty good settlement. Looks sort of like a village, to be honest. Settled between a bunch of mountains. And hey, it's a full moon night and the thunderstorms are cracking. And it seems like some sort of a ritual is being performed for a deity. And hey, as soon as you're about to enjoy it, there's sort of an ambush by what probably looks like a private army or, I don't know, maybe a government thing. Who knows what it is. But yeah, there's sort of an attack here. And you see the figure in the middle just like that, just as it is while the people around rush. And out of that comes somebody with their hand into the puddle for some reason. And hey, we got to a completely different place after this. Now, the next frame is pretty interesting because it highlights one of those themes that I was on about in all the Javan videos that I have made as of yet. The very first frame here shows us a train station scene. This is obviously on a set as it is very intelligible. And there's a bookstore with a very bright brand new sign saying bookstore. That's a giveaway. And there's one sign saying Nari Shakti. Women power. That's what that means in English. And there's a bunch of females drawn over there. And this is pretty interesting that the fire is coming right from there because I strongly believe that this film is also going to talk a lot about women empowerment and because those are some of the themes that are being highlighted even in the preview. I mean, I, I call this, okay? I call this one. Right. And there's a bunch of fires and there's a pigeon that flies off which is very similar to the teaser that we saw before. And if you look closely, while it is not intelligible where this is taking place, but it is very clear that the time on the clock says that it's going to be evening. And because all these people that are running around are in that kind of Javan sort of a mask. I don't know what to call that. So I'll just call it the Javan mask. This seems like sort of a vigilante action scene. You know, like how in the ending of Joker, there's a lot of Jokers coming around. Something along those lines. Whilst it might have not been a real place where they shot this, but I gotta say, it looks pretty convincing. The whole interiors, everything here looks absolutely perfect. And we see another pan shot of a very similar shot like the puddle one before that we just saw like five seconds ago with the foot of Shah Rukh Khan stomping the ground in red light. Whether this is in the same scene or not is also not intelligible. It does not look like that because the next scene that follows this up is of a helicopter and I just don't know why but this scene's color composite don't really match up so it, it looks it looks good VFX but something about it still looks pretty off. And then here we go another shot. Whilst we had first seen a shot of a puddle and then a hand goes in it and then a shot of a foot, now we see a shot of shoes in puddle. How surprising. <laughs> After this, we see another shot, which is a pretty cool one. This one was probably one of the most likable shots for me. This is on an interstate highway, I think, or I don't know. And here is Shah Rukh Khan with binoculars and he's eyeing out a bunch of trucks coming on to his way. Again, online compression things really mask out the details here. But we can still tell that this is pretty high level stuff considering there's a lot of trucks. So it's probably a high level transfer job, sort of reminiscent of the Dark Knight stuff. Something that really adds more of the Dark Knight vibes to me is the following scene in which we see the hands of probably 
what I would say, SRK's character is mother, and she hands him something, I don't know, or somebody, and I think SRK's character is the one who's standing in this frame, because it looks like a pretty manly figure, and probably the figure that is handing him something is of a female, I'm not sure though, maybe it might be a kid as well, I'm not sure. And then the next scene is also of a similar thing, it's a scene where two hands are being met. I honestly think that this has given me sort of those Dark Knight vibes. You know where in Dark Knight Rises, the character of Talia al Ghul is born in the prison cell and she is protected by Bane who is covered all in masks and stuff. So whilst a lot of people were saying that Javan's look might be inspired from Darkman, on which I made a complete episode as well, I honestly think that it's probably along the lines of Bane's arc in the prison in the Dark Knight Rises film. I don't know, that kind of what it looks like, because in the very next scene, we saw this whole jail cell full of women, full of women. And there's one woman in the center with a boy child. I think obviously what's going on here is that it's probably a jail cell for women or I don't know, some sort of a torture cell. And in the same way where Talia al Ghul was this female little girl who was born and wait to look like a guy because obviously there were so many men there who could exploit this little girl child. Here is the opposite where there's a lot of females and there's this boy who's born in this prison cell and probably escapes on the hounds of the sacrifice of the mother. That's what it probably seems like to me. I don't know. And hey, there's also a police cop here and there's some fire and stuff and I don't know who this is supposed to be. Sort of giving me the Singham vibes, but is this supposed to be Shah Rukh Khan? Um, I can't really tell because probably the nose gives it away, but it's still not very touchable. I'm not gonna make many assumptions, probably it is. And then in the next shot, we see around 20 martyrs being honored here. And on the other side, you can see, I think, who are supposed to be their wives standing in honor of them as well. Perhaps SRK's character might be the son of one of these martyrs. Probably. Who knows? I definitely think that there's a connection here. There's also a flag here, but it's hard to spot what country or place it actually denotes. They have cut the trailer in a way where even if you pause at each frame, it does not give away a lot of the details, which is pretty cool. Again, we get a shot of a boot in sand. There's a lot of these shots here. And hey, there's a really cool shot of SRK giving more of the early Pathan vibes here. And I thought that this looked pretty cool. Following which we see a scene which correlates to the helicopter one and actually continues on from there and shows that this jail cell in which these women must be living that we saw early on is getting burnt off, probably because Shah Rukh Khan one day when he grows up eventually helps these women escape or maybe sets the whole place down depending upon what happened to those women that's what it looks like to me after this we see a shot of what is probably a pendulum but uh i don't know a strange one and an hourglass. glass you know it makes things more tense and this is pretty good because they follow the scene right up with a cool action shot where srk basically throws people away with a wrist tape or a belt of some sort and the guy goes flying out of the glass it looks pretty cool because we just saw an hourglass glass in the previous scene and then now we see this hourglass glass in this scene so i guess it it looks pretty cool and obviously srk is smoking here and he's got a mustache and everything and even in dim lighting that's pretty intelligible this cuts straight into a person falling into water which is pretty cool shot and this is obviously a woman as i can tell i think anybody can tell that right and kind of reminded me of that scene from Pathan when the pickup falls down into the waters but i don't know whose character this is supposed to be perhaps nayantara maybe and after this we actually get to see something that we can understand there's a guy here who's shooting up the metro station and it says nsg and it says commando somewhere so when you actually look this up, you find out that NSGs are the same thing as what was popularly known as Black Cats. You know, National Security Guard. These are commandos. The high level, highest level of amazing, amazing commandos who do their jobs amazingly. And they are like the highest peak when it comes to fighting against terrorism. So, you know, I guess 
SRK's role, at least as people are saying that there's probably going to be a double role, perhaps the bad side of him, the guy who's supposed to be playing the terroristic one, is going to create terrors of nationalistic levels. Following this, we see a shot of this amazing looking pretty house, this really pretty house. This might be the one that is actually from the beginning scene where the ritual is being held and this house is probably located somewhere in there and that ambush is probably supposed to lead up to this. If not, then probably this is supposed to be the same house as the one shown in the title announcement and regardless, it's pretty cool. After this, we see this flipping scene which actually is really, really cool where SRK is flipping off a guy who's probably also supposed to be... SRK? I don't know. I don't know. The details are a bit awry. Even in 4K HDR, I can't tell. Right, after this, let's move on. We see this amazing shot that says through fire. And I gotta say that this is pretty cool VFX work. Because the fire looks pretty damn realistic and pretty cool. We follow the camera through that. And there's this amazing looking reveal, man. What a look is this? This looks fantastic. I have not seen a look like this in a Bollywood film ever, ever. I guess the last time they did a really cool look in a Hindi film or, you know, you could say an Indian film was in Aparichit, which was sort of like this. But this one looks way damn cooler because it's way more modern. Although this did remind me the look of the wrestler Darby Allen who fights in a company called AEW. <laughs> but besides that, I don't think... This is copied from that and I don't think there's any correlation. It just happens to be a coincidence. But this vigilante sort of look he's going for is really cool. This obviously might be for the one who's supposed to be the dark side of him. And sort of reminded me of Two-Face as well to be honest. But in a way more demented way. I don't know. It does feel like to me that the Dark Knight Rises and the Dark Knight whole trilogy just as a whole inspires so many more modern Indian films day by day. If you really want to find more out about that, go check out my video on Vikram, like I've done many, and that'll show you exactly how Vikram borrows from the Dark Knight trilogy. It's pretty cool. Right, after this we see him sort of tapping down something, and there's a hole supposed to be a blast of course, but 44 seconds in we finally see the logo of Red Chili's Entertainment. This is pretty new, this is the new kind of, I don't know, what is a preview? <laughs> this is supposed to be a very new sort of a thing where there's really not a lot being told about the story but we're just getting random scenes and it seems to me that this whole thing seems to be rotating between four scenes. The whole jail cell scene, the house scene with the ambush, the metro station and then just some random shots. But hey, I think that there's going to be so much more to the movie even if it gives away some of the stuff that's happening when you look into it a lot but I think still there's going to be a lot of things that happen. And you've got this dude in complete like brown clothing and he's just wrapped up like as if he's like Sandman or something. And it just looks so cool. He's there with a spear. Just, I don't know. It looks amazing. But I'm not sure whether this is from the ambush scene that begins the trailer. Sorry, the preview. Or is this supposed to be the one where he's trying to free up all those women? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Then we see S, of course, the first letter from SRK. So after S, we see his eyes. And after R, we see a smoking cigarette or something. And after K, we see that look that we saw in the teaser. But here it's much more demented looking <laughs> because he is looking very, very grim here. That's the thing. There's a certain weird aura about him here, like as if his whole face has been burned, his whole body has been burned. I don't know. But as Shah Rukh Khan is then finally shown and it looks pretty cool. After this, there's actually a bunch of cool stuff. There's a song where there's a lot of people with plates and stuff and they look as if they are prisoners or something. I'm not sure. But the whole lighting, the whole color grading of the film is supposed to be red and green. And we see that in complete full-fledged <laughs> exposition here. Because Shah Rukh Khan is in red and black and he's looking dapper, man. And we have all these people in green and white, which looks to be as if it's inside a prison cell or something. And it's all women. There's no guys here. And obviously, because Shah Rukh Khan is not going to give any compliments to any other male actors or even have them in the background anymore, he's not taking any of the stuff from anybody else if you're a male. 
he's gonna only praise women and hey i think because if one of the themes of the movie is supposed to be women empowerment kudos man they're doing something that's never been done before and in a very convincing way so more to it and then we also see nantra in the same song i think and she's supposed to be in yellow i'm not sure if this is the same song perhaps it's from another song and there's a bunch of more young girls who are young and they're in white and yellow and it's a pretty cute scene and we see nantra you know she's nantra do i need to say more and then after this we see her introduction and probably she's supposed to be a cop as well or a high level officers because probably she's related to the nsg commando stuff i don't know this looks to be mumbai where she is so maybe and after this we see a punching back scene with vijay sethupati's introduction and he looks pretty insane <laughs> uh, even though we don't get to see much of him in the trailer and after this we get a special appearance reveal for dipika padukone and she's in a red sari and she's flipping down a guy and if you see in the scenes back there if you read the writing it's not actually in hindi at least not most of it is i think some of it is in hindi and some of it is not so it'll be pretty interesting to see where the scene takes place and how it takes place here and i think this is also one of those women empowerment scenes and just you know continuing the theme of the movie where she's flipping down a guy she's throwing down the guy in a sari looks really really cool only to pick up adikon can pull this off and after this we get of course co-produced by god of burma i don't know who that guy is but hey he's making a lot of money and this is a pretty cool cut after this where we see this rotation scene of the camera completely going 360 where guys are being thrown off and we get an nirud musical here and everything there's a guy going back into the helicopter which probably is from that scene of the helicopter in the beginning i'm not sure though a bunch of guns loading and vijay sethupati also in in a in a bomb jacket in a way i should say and he's in this red train or something and they, we get another shot of this later on after this we get this shot of this train in which there are a bunch of girls and these girls are are dressed like vigilantes and stuff and it seems like they've hijacked the entire thing and after this we see of course an atli film and the amazing shot with a sarkane complete brown clothing looks pretty cool as well i don't exactly know what's the context of this but of course i think that this is probably going to be near the climax because it's got that whole village on fire and seems like a lot of place is being burnt and he's just there to save it and there's so many cool shots here there's one shot of SRK who's also in the jail cell and he's beating up a bunch of guys and in the jail cells you can see that there are women in there who are trapped maybe it is about trafficking or something perhaps it is who knows maybe a bunch of girls are being trafficked and shahrukh khan is there to save them might be that i think it definitely might be one of the themes and he's like clean shaven looking pretty young for his age and he's man he's looking amazing in this and after this we see more shots from that bridge scene with cars going here and there looks pretty interesting and there's a lot of white stuff i don't know what it's supposed to be rubble or something and after this there's a lot of helicopter shots and then a really quick montage so let's really dive into this scene here right first there's a very fast scene of shahrukh khan from that very scene where he's clean shaven in that jail cell whatever and he's trying to shoot up these guys and then after this you get a scene of vijay sethupati and he's completely dressed up i don't know if that bomber guy was vijay sethupati only now <laughs> to be honest and he's in a train and he's got those glasses on he looks pretty cool I don't know if he's playing the good guy here or the bad guy. I mean, he plays the bad guy usually, so I don't know. But yeah, there's another scene of the metro station again. I don't know whether a lot of this movie leads up to a metro scene. I hope if that is the case that they really do it amazingly. I hope it's not like that film Bullet Train because that film sucks. After this, we finally see the first frame of Sanya Malhotra in this film because she was signed quite early on and then to see her here finally It's pretty cool. After this we get more shots of actresses, but I don't know some of them and I feel sorry about that, but I can't know everybody. But yeah. And there's a lot of shots here of like aiming and stuff. And after this we see more shots of gunshots and stuff of all those girls shooting the guns. And after this we do see more of men, I don't know if they're from the commandos or some sort of a vigilante group. And there seems to be a lot of 
stuff about jail cells, prison cells and you know places where people are kept like concentration camps almost. And that is seen here so 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 many times to be honest. But it's a pretty cool setup because seeing really large interiors is a welcome change from the really large exteriors of Patan. I think that this will be quite different and pretty cool I think it would be a good thing. After this we see this amazing shot within that very jail cell in a song and it's all red, it's all lit up, it's very beautiful looking and Shah Rukh Khan is dancing there giving me the Chinna Express vibes, looking pretty cool. After this of course there's more action shots, you know, random guns, cars flipping down and we actually see a frame of Sanya Malhotra kicking somebody here as well. So probably she joins that vigilante group. Nayantra is killing a lot of people, shooting the whole thing. And Shah Rukh Khan jumping off of a bike, just like Pathan, you know, just like Pathan's teaser. So pretty cool. And then also jumping onto a truck. Following which we see that very same shot as the one in the release date announcement of Javan. The preview finally wraps up the last 30 seconds with this pretty cool sequence of Shah Rukh Khan at this station which is of course teased in the title announcement of the film. And here we see Shah Rukh Khan and he's got a duffel bag and a king ring because of course a king ring, a lion ring you know, <laughs> which was the earlier name of the film if you remember, lion. And so he steps in and this is pretty cool because here you can actually see the name of the station. So this changes a lot of things. It says Ghat Koper. Now, if you look into where Ghat Koper is, if you go on Google, it says that it's a suburb area in eastern Mumbai. So that sets the major location of the film at least. It seems to be a pretty popular hub for the railway station of the Mumbai suburban lines because it is line one of the Mumbai metro. So hey, I guess in everything Shah Rukh Khan likes to stay on number one. <laughs> but here before he enters the railway, we see a pretty nice, really cool moment of him smirking. And it's pretty amazing because he just does that smile, you know, like that kiddish smile. And I like that a lot. And after this, there's this like really cool scene of something being thrown and the mirror of the metro being broken into. It's just probably, I don't know, something, I don't know, gunshot? I don't know if that's supposed to be that massive because it is followed by a bunch of gunshots here and there. And after this, we see Shah Rukh Khan taking off his mask and there's more shots by NSG commandos. So that's what it is. I don't know. And then more montages of that place, which is supposed to be in deserts. Very much like the Dark Knight Rises, guys. I hate to say it, but I see a similarity in that sequence. May it not be in other things. But hey, so he takes off his taping here I should say and he's like completely bald and he looks he looks pretty pretty dapper here more shots of cars flying here and there it doesn't matter and then the dust reveal and we see Shah Rukh Khan's face completely bald with something tattooed on the side and hey he looks pretty crazy <laughs> he looks pretty insane but something is tattooed onto the left side of his head right above his ear although it's in unintelligible what it is and after this we finally see the roll credits and what is after this you might ask Shah Rukh Khan dancing Shah Rukh Khan dancing to an old song as everybody else is scared it looks pretty hilarious looks the same way as demented as a joker scene from dark knight I don't know Looks pretty cool. Reminds me of so many things, but still pretty original. But yeah, that's the complete analysis of every single frame from Javan's official preview. If you liked whatever I said here, if you got to know a bunch of new things from this, or at least even one new thing, leave a like right now. Like right now, do it, okay? And share this with all your friends who are hyping up Javan. I know I am. So yeah, please share it. And hey, thank you for watching this. I'll see you soon, very, very soon, with something pretty good. Because guess what? When Zevan comes out, I've also got something pretty cool coming out related to Shah Rukh Khan. And you guys are gonna like it, trust me. Until then, I'll see you soon, very, very soon again with something new on the cards. Love you all. This is MDR. Bye-bye.